Hi, and welcome to this ABC Vascular Ultrasound video lecture on ultrasound carotid anatomy. In this video lecture, we will talk about the anatomy of the carotid arteries, positioning of the transducer for the identification of the carotid arteries, and the ultrasound anatomy of the common carotid artery. The cerebral vascular system is fed by three main supraaortic vessels, which are on the right, the innominate artery, on the left, the common carotid artery, and the subclavian artery. The innominate artery divides into the common carotid artery, which branches into the internal carotid artery and the external carotid artery. The right subclavian artery arises off the innominate artery and gives off the vertebral artery. The left common carotid artery generally arises off the aortic arch and divides into the internal and external carotid arteries. The left subclavian artery usually arises off the aortic arch and feeds the left vertebral artery. The ultrasound appearance of the arteries is peculiar. An artery appears on ultrasound as an anechoic tube bound by two hyperechoic structures. The anechoic part of the tube represents the arterial lumen, which is anechoic, and is indicated by the red arrows in this video. The hyperechoic structures are the posterior and anterior walls and are made of three main layers. These are the intima, media and adventitia. The intima is the innermost layer and is in contact with the arterial lumen. The adventitia is the outermost layer and in between these two layers lie the media which is hyperechoic. The ultrasound appearance of the artery using a transverse plane is different from the longitudinal one. In transverse view, the artery appears as a cross-sectional area as indicated by the yellow circle. As in the longitudinal view, the lumen is anechoic while the walls are hyperechoic. In the next section of this video lecture, we will demonstrate how to position the transducer on the neck of the patient and the ultrasound appearance of the anatomical landmarks used to identify the carotid arteries. Transducer positioning. To identify the common carotid artery, position the transducer using a transverse view in the medial aspect of the neck between the sternocleidomastoid muscle and the trachea. When positioning the transducer at this level, the proximal region of the common carotid artery will be visualized. The main anatomical landmark used to identify the common carotid artery is the jugular vein. The jugular vein is of larger caliber compared to the common carotid artery. It is located anteriorly and laterally to the common carotid artery and it is easily compressible when applying gentle pressure over the transducer. As illustrated in this video, the jugular vein walls collapse when pressure is applied over the transducer while the common carotid artery remains patent. In addition to the jugular vein, there are other anatomical landmarks that can be used to identify the common carotid artery. These include the thyroid lobes on both sides which are adjacent to the common carotid artery, the sternocleidomastoid muscle which is contained within the muscular fascia superiorly with respect to the common carotid artery, the trachea recognisable by the hyperechoic structures of the cartilage, and on the left side there is another anatomical landmark which is the esophagus. To summarise, the common carotid artery is adjacent to the thyroid lobe to the side of the trachea below the sternocleidomastoid muscle and adjacent to the jugular vein. These are the main anatomical landmarks used to identify the common carotid artery. While the origin of the common carotid artery can often be visualised using ultrasound, the left common carotid artery origin may not be visualized for anatomical reasons that we will now show you. Let's start from the right side. Once the common carotid artery has been identified in transverse view, move the transducer down towards the very base of the neck, angling the transducer downwards as shown. At the base of the neck, you can visualize the innominate artery. This artery is a large vessel that arises off the aortic arch and divides into the common carotid artery and the subclavian artery and therefore the origin of the right common carotid artery can be identified. The origin of the left common carotid artery may not be visualized. First identify the origin of the common carotid artery in transverse view. The jugular vein, the thyroid lobe, the esophagus and the sternocleidomastoid muscle can be visualized. 
Move the transducer down towards the base of the neck, tilting the transducer downwards. An acoustic shadow will appear on the screen. This shadow is caused by the clavicle and represents the main obstacle to visualising the origin of the left common carotid artery.